I'm uh, Tyler Moore, uh, Deputy Fire Chief of Vancouver Fire Rescue Service. And we're in our um, brand new RTX uh, from Rosenbauer. Um, so the reasons that we chose one was our, our staff was asking for a more maneuverable, uh, smaller, uh, less width, uh, shorter vehicle um, that had uh, ability to get stuff on and off easy and for the staff to get on and off easy. Uh, so this, this vehicle accomplished all of those things uh, with its very narrow width, uh, its four-wheel steering, very, very nimble, uh, allows us to get in and out of the truck without uh, a lot of uh, uh, issues with knees and, and uh, hips. Um, because it can raise and lower, uh, getting the equipment off the higher locations uh, is easier for staff to do. So all of those things, we really were looking for something that uh, allowed us to have uh, firefighter safety is paramount uh, and it just happened to be an electric vehicle that uh, brought all those things together. So one of the things that uh, has uh, started to come up more and more often is that the, um, with street calming and, and bike lanes getting put into our cities, uh, the ability for our trucks to get around has been more and more difficult and our response times have been uh, hurt with that. So uh, having this smaller, uh, more maneuverable apparatus, we can. Uh, maintained our, our response times and if, if not getting even better even though our city continues to grow um, and have narrower and narrower streets uh, because of all the other things that they're trying to accomplish. Hi, good morning my name is Ryan Hayes I'm Assistant Chief of Fleet and Equipment Services with Vancouver Fire Rescue Services. Uh, one of the big considerations that anybody considering uh, an RTX or an electric fire truck of any kind is the infrastructure that has to be put in place um, prior to or during the project um, of building the truck. The, the charging system that we have in Vancouver is a 60 kilowatt uh, fast charger. We put in two, we put in one in the truck bay and one in our fleet maintenance division. Uh, those are permanent chargers. Obviously you see here uh, a portable unit that many of the fire departments that have purchased these vehicles have. Uh, we opted for a permanent solution because we know exactly where that fire truck is going to be stationed. Okay, so the truck uh, is stationed at our headquarters, number one fire hall. It's a very high call volume uh, station. Uh, we're running about somewhere between seven and nine hundred calls a month I believe out of that fire station. So uh, it's, a, it's a relatively small district. We anticipate short runs and we also anticipate that this truck is going to be running probably somewhere between 90 and 95 percent on the electric battery. Uh, we do know that if it's at uh, prolonged pumping situations, uh, longer incidents, that we do have the uh, energy backup system on board and we can run this truck indefinitely if, we, if required. Captain of uh, Fleet Logistics for Vancouver Fire Rescue System. So this is our new RTX. Um, we'll just go around and talk about the compartments a bit and what we've got on board. Uh, for crosslays, we've got 200 feet of two and a half, uh, 200 feet of inch and three quarter, and another 200 feet of inch and three quarter. Uh, we also have our high rise packs uh, on this slide out tool board, which makes it super easy for the crews to grab it. And you can actually drop it right on your shoulders. Uh, in this compartment, we've also got uh, just small equipment in the, in the bins and quite a, these bins are actually fairly empty throughout this truck. Uh, so there's a lot more space available to add smaller uh, equipment if we need. Down here, we've got our extinguishers and in the back, if we swing this out, swings all the way out, you got easy access to the fan, not having to bend down to pick it up and just good for ergonomics for the firefighters. Um, I love the bins, it just keeps everything nice and tidy. Uh, when we get it home, I will be labeling everything so that we know exactly what's in all the boxes. Driver's compartment, um, got all our fittings, extra nozzles, uh, adapters, um, hydrant hose, to, or pony length of hose to fill the, the booster tank. All well, well laid out, easily accessible, easily visible to the driver so you're not searching for things. So uh, this is very new to us. Um, the crews have, that are on this truck have taken to it really well. It's very intuitive. Uh, say we're pulling up on a, on a vehicle fire. Operator jumps out of the cab, come back here, you hit the start button. That will automatically drop the tank, prime the pump, ramp up the RPMs. You choose whichever discharge you want. We'll say the booster reel. Hit the booster reel, and then it's a one push, full open, or you can manually control your opening. 
the, the dial. Uh, once that's done, you got water at the water at the nozzle. Very straightforward. Another big plus we found with this vehicle is the scene lighting. Uh, as you can see, the compartments themselves are really well lit. Um, and then up top here, we've got a strip light, basically the entire length of the vehicle. That can all be controlled from the uh, panel here. Choose your lights panel. Uh, we've got several different options. We've got vicinity, which will give you the down low light right around the cab. Um, if you're writing down on paperwork, there's no shadowing because you've got lights right around you. Uh, and then if you want more of a, a floodlight, <laughs> hit one button and it lights up the world. With the booster hose, which the crews absolutely love. Uh, we got away from them for a while and they love having it back. Uh, up here we've got our five inch hose um, and we know that we can fit 10,050 feet of five inch hose up there, which is the same as any other truck that we've had. There's no lack of space for hose. Frozen Bar has put together this really neat hygiene board. So after a call, you can come out, you can plug a hose in here with a little scrub brush, uh, clean off any gunk that you may have got on your boots. Uh, airline, blow stuff off if you need to. Super handy. Uh, here we've got our packs. Uh, we've gone with the clean cab model on this truck. Super easy to access. One firefighter there and one on this side. Not in each other's way. You can pull them off and get them on. And slide it back in, away you go. And then we move into our medical compartments. This is the stuff that we grab on every medical call. So this is one spot, everything is accessible. Uh, when we come back from the call, guys need to get rid of their gloves. We've done a really good job of putting our waste bin for biohazards. So it's everything in one spot where you need it versus going to multiple doors to, to get it. On this truck, we have a six kilowatt inverter, which gives us all the power we need to run auxiliary light, lighting. Uh, water vacs, uh, our Milwaukee super vac fan on the other side is also 120 capable, so we can plug into this and that fan can run forever. Thanks for checking out the walk around of the Vancouver RTX. For more information on the RTX, please visit our website at rosenbaueramerica.com or contact your local Rosenbauer dealer.